Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the hype train. Um, <laughs> this game, this game right here is absolutely astonishing. Um, just a little brief history while we're waiting on this to load. Um, yes, I went ahead and played it some while I was waiting on the massive 20, nearly 26 gig day one patch um, to download. But um, let me just kind of give you a little history on me with this thing. Um, I don't know that we're going to get the nifty little intro video right when we first booted up the game. No, we didn't. Early 15th century, time of turmoil, Holy Roman Empire, which flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now with his son, West Wenceslas, the idol of the Bohemian throne, has fallen into ruin. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary, who decided to take drastic steps in order to something, something his reign. Um, this thing just kind of showed up one day on my radar. Um, I was very late to the party. They've been doing video exposition. Look how beautiful this looks. Been doing video exposition on this since like 2014, 15 maybe. It was actually a Kickstarter game originally. I was not a backer, um, but uh, I had some interest in it. But you know, it looked like a more realistic Skyrim to me. But um, you know. Then it kind of fell off the map again until just a couple of months ago when I started seeing all of the videos that they've been making upon their development and showing just how far they've come with the combat, which really was clunky uh, in their alpha builds um, in their first iterations of their alphas. But uh, it's came a long way, and uh, just uh, I'm no uh, historical. Uh, mogul or anything like that uh, but I really do appreciate and can respect the time these guys took and the links that they went to in order to try to retain as much historical accuracy in this game as possible. Obviously there's con some consolations uh, that they had to in order to make this a, uh, a work of entertainment. You know, the story the names are not all identical. The combat does have a few tweaks in it, but they used a lot of historians and um, and authentic weapons uh, gurus in order to make this as feasibly realistic as they could and still make it a game that was fun to play. And uh, and the more I've watched, the more I've loved. So I'll shut up now and let the uh, opening. get it finished today. Cinematic go. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, uh, I've only played like the first maybe hour of the game until something major does happen, and um, then my updates were done. Get so, up now, there's work to be done. <sighs> get up, or I'll come get you up, you slug of egg. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. <laughs> You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Right, I think we're going to do our character the same way we did it the first time. <sighs> okay. Um. A fine state you're in this morning. 
What on earth did you get up to last night? Now then, these choices that we do here, we get two choices, which will automatically get an advance on two of your four working uh, character traits. Um, we're going to level up speech, because that will help us with bartering, which will obviously help us the whole game. So. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and... Um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Okay, now this one I may change. I don't know whether I want to do... Okay, we did, I did strength. Um, which, of course, will help your uh, attacks do more damage. Um, I wish it explained a little bit more right here. It does once you get into the actual quest, actual logs. But um, vitality is your uh, stamina and your ability to take damage and and take wounds without uh, without going down. Agility is your combat technique. So, like, you can uh, take, you know, you, you have a better deal with weapons, your bows are better, and uh, you react better. Uh, so, like, dodging and blocking reaction time is better. I'm kind of thinking that agility is actually going to be the better starting thing than strength, because we'll get strength leveled up uh, just by utilizing weapons. So, yeah, let's do agility. No. It's just, Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. All right. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Mother. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been caught in that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Seratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right. Well, um, is there any particular reason I'm looking at this guy? <laughs> Let's take a bite from the pot. So I found out um, by mistake if you overeat, and we're going to look at the uh, logs here, but um, I've already seen all this, so I'm going to kind of skim over it a little bit to make it a little faster. Um, you can jump, sprint, crouch. Uh, you can call your horse once you get one, obviously. Uh, alchemy, which we can't get to just yet, is is actually really in-depth. And you have to uh, time certain things or things that you actually have to grind down into a powder to be able to use. Certain things, once you're done with them, you just pour them straight into a beaker or a cauldron. Other things you actually have to, um, what do they call it? Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, sometimes you have to distill them 
and then your skills uh, you level them up obviously again as you use them and then uh, you can use those points to make you more proficient at certain things warfare's overall proficiency defense makes you harder to hurt um, and then you have axes, bows, maces, and swords, and unarmed combat, which makes you more efficient at each of those. And any combat and non-combat skills, as you get three uh, levels in any one of those items, then you get to a pick a perk that is underneath that kind of umbrella of that uh, of that skill. And the perk, you know, kind of gives you uh, certain specialty things that you can do. So we'll skip kind of some of that stuff. Um, and then strength, agility, vitality, and speech. Those are the things we were talking about earlier. Uh, strength is your combat ability. Um, and then you're obviously your ability to uh, wield heavier weapons and armor. Agility is your speed, your movement, your dexterity, your reflexibility, um, and your how good you are with bows. Vitality is your endurance and your ability to uh, sustain t attacks and damage. Speech is obviously we did that because it'll help us in bartering and um, with our intimidations, coercions, things like that. So, um, and then you have these other stats that are related to those things like uh, charisma is how easily you impress people, visibility and, cam and co conspicuousness kind of go hand in hand. Visibility is how easily you're seen, and then conspicuousness is how, um, how high, um, what is the percent chance that someone will react to you once you are seen so and then noise obviously is dependent upon what kind of war, uh, armor you're wearing how quickly you're moving um, and then speed is determined between your agility and what your load is and then you can have buffs and stuff which I found out the hard way you can overeat and it says that you won't be hungry for a long time but you'll be a little bit clumsy um, because you're bloated essentially it didn't say bloated but uh, you're you're over encumbered in food and so you're a little weighty and you're uh, kind of kind of clumsy uh, Farkle is in this in the here as a sub game uh, there's lock picking pickpocketing which they both just kind of tell you the uh, best ways to go about doing it um, and then the quest log uh, I'm not going to go through all of the other because there's just a ton of information in here and I spent like 30 minutes and didn't get done <laughs> reading um, but we are going to grab us some of this stuff because we're going to do sell it uh the food if any of you have not been watching this game very closely the food will go bad over time any pretty much any items in this game are um, perishable uh, as far as uh, foods go and so your food <laughs> is not something that you just, you know, it's not a Skyrim thing where you hoard it. Now, you can actually just uh, hit down and go to the menu and eat it. But what's really cool is when you sit somewhere at a bench or a table, you actually get the option to open your inventory while you're sitting and, and eat. So, um, apples are actually... F wow, cheese is expensive. Um, we're going to eat couple of these apples and then we're gonna go ahead and eat this lentil soup all right that gets us in pretty good nourishment state but if you go over a hundred on nourishment then you actually over embellish and you're it's just as if you over ate so I thought that was really cool um, we are going to go ahead and take all of this we'll need some of it later I found out but the really cool thing is you go over here and check this out. We're going to take all 10 of those carrots, 15 onions, 5 cabbages. Oh, seriously? Jeez, and I like how when you take stuff, it doesn't just disappear. You actually take it. But we're, we're taking all these right now. Obviously, they would go bad. Um, but, uh, and this is locked and we don't have a lock pick, but we are going to sell this to somebody we talked to here in a moment. So spoiler alert, we're going to, we're going to run into someone to barter with here in a little bit. 
All right. Man, this game is just, it's gorgeous. This, I mean, for a console game, this is gorgeous. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. <clears throat> Alright. So, um, if you're hearing me a whole lot better this time than um, maybe those last few Dark Souls 2 uh, videos I made, uh, I finally figured out the problem. For some reason, my headset had uninstalled itself from the PlayStation, and I was actually using my PlayStation camera as the input. I'll be with you. And so, um, no you. matter how much I had it turned up, it still sounded like I was really distant because it was my freaking PlayStation well, camera that was the mic for, for my video. So I do apologize for those. They should be better from here on out. Right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right. <coughs> Let's see if we can... Can we pick these? Oh, okay. That was the one thing I didn't try earlier. Figured I'd give it a shot. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, hopefully um, a lot easier to hear and understand now. Uh, I really like the stamina. You can actually run the amount of distance that someone should be able to run. All right, we're not actually ready to talk to him. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All right. Go ahead and get this out of the way. If any of you have seen any of the betas, you've seen this. You can't be serious, George. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? 
The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now, when the Pope with you, Sally. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Winceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Winceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, right, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Oh, are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Well, we do not have time, unfortunately. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Alright. We really don't have time, because we're going to go learn sword fighting. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Get a nice log on. Lock on. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Good. Not bad. Good. Fine. Good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Once again. Good. Once again. Now you're getting it. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Very 
Good. Not bad. Again. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. <clears throat> Alright, I have uh, obviously subtitles on everyone turned on at the moment. Uh, sorry if that busts your immersion, <laughs> but uh, sometimes I don't quite catch what they're saying, so having the text up there is nice. I may turn it off later if we find out that we can hear everybody easily. God be with you, Kalesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. <coughs> I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. All right, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> this talks about the ways to persuade and, and talk to people. Um, you have a speech. You have your rank or your reputation. You have the threaten. You have the uh, um, bribe. And then you have specialty options. But then you also have this... little tutorial here that shows like if you know somebody well enough or you have unlocked the skill of empathetic you can see how your stats rank up against the person you're talking to to see which one of them would probably be more successful um, I actually got this when I talked to my dad the first time around because I took so long getting to him he wondered what was going on but um all right so let's try we don't have our we tried this and it doesn't work. Let's try this. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off. Booze is dear these days. And you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt. And I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you that speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. I guess I'm at the farm anyways. Oh boy, here we go. Seriously. Okay, not working out. Oh dear, did that hurt? Let's get her stamina back. Ah. I had a pretty good system going. First time I did them. Alright, if you can get a good enough distance, and you kick, and then you follow up with a punch. Up top, a quick punch up top.
Jesus Christ! Okay. Hey. Come here, Denny. Oh, that's block. Okay, cool. Hey, cool, I got a new level in strength. See? Again, just using it. Alright. Kinda got it figured out a little bit. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Okay, there we go. You can always see your health and red bar is lower screen. Health also determines maximum level of stamina, it's important to keep a close eye on it. Heal yourself with food, sleep, but relaxing in the back house takes a while, so if you need to heal quickly, drink a healing potion. Serious wounds, heck, your healing abilities, they won't run with injured legs, wielding a sword with easily with a broken arm. Oh, cool. You can see what's hurt. If you're bleeding, it looks like fire. Okay. <laughs> so I always have advantages, blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, combat is not. Okay. During combat, it's not possible to heal yourself. Cool. There's stealth. We got it too. What the hell? Huh? Why is he? All right. So see, we can since we're not wounded, we can go into our inventory here, and we can eat one of these 947 apples that we have. for nourishment and now we're fully healed sweet so let's check his there we go we get everything he owns let's go ahead and eat his food too <laughs> while we're at it oh crap you've eaten too much see I did it again dang it really not that big of a deterrent on our stamina. It's just a tiny little sliver. Alright, let's have a little chat with this gentleman. How are you? <coughs> okay, we want to buy one charcoal. And then we want to sell a gazillion apples. Alright, let's actually return some of our food.
Let's return all of our carrots. Because we're going to sell the axe, the hammer, and the nails. There we go. All right. And then we can haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? We're going to haggle every time. All right, this tells you you can go up or down up until the either the value of what money you have or the value that the money that they have and uh, the amount of gold inside the circle shows you uh, how close to giving up on bartering that they are getting and if you make anybody give up then you lose reputation with that person so you don't ever really ever want to do let's see 20 is as far as we can go Aye, for that amount, I can be persuaded. Sweet. We actually kind of sold too much stuff, but we'll take it, whatever. I wonder where those guys... There's the White House. Let's go over here real quick and see what kind of number they've done. I say that's White House, was it? This may not be it. Sweet. Picked him. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess. That, oh, there it is. Yeah, they did throw some stuff at it. How did things end up at the Deutsches? His whole house is covered in shit. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway. What can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Henry's a little effeminate. I just realized. Um, where did they teleport me to for talking to him? Seriously? Squares jump. Triangle is call your horse. I wanted to talk to the uh, wife, see what she had to say. Because I remember the beta they had some. Okay. Lord Almighty. Guess not. Alright, well. Okay. Something I didn't do last time was actually like snoop around a little bit. We're going to just briefly before we. All right, well, let's go talk to our chick. God save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty? 
What else might your worship desire? <laughs> Bacon. I keep looking at the uh, health of the item and thinking that's the value. physical and spiritual woes 80% alcohol holy cow 90% alcohol <laughs> um, <clears throat> wow they were pretty much making um, I can't remember what it's called now um, Everclear almost okay a pitcher as usual hi Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Oh, uh -oh. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Uh-oh. <clears throat> this just got PG-13. <clears throat> All right, so you can have three. I didn't shut up. Cool. Um, where did it go? All right, let's go talk to dear old dad. Should we gamble first? Nah, takes too long. We'll do it later. I love that you can actually run the amount of time a halfway decently in shape human being can run. Not four seconds and then you're out of... About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? What do I not have? Move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. Um, let's go to our quest. Oh, you had to buy 10. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I just, I bought a whole bunch last time. I didn't realize that you actually needed 10. So. <laughs> Gives us another opportunity to barter with uh, this guy. Alright, um, bro, where's your charcoal? Okay, nine charcoals. And we'll sell... Ten carrots. And... That's it. That's it. 
Let's try to get him to free. Can we do something about the price. Naturally. Are we agreed? Well, now a little more, and we'll shake on it. All right, so. All right. Barter officially completed. Where's my trophy? About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Rudzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. I get it, Dad. Sorry. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. What, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with you, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. He'd be proud that we did. Um, vocabulary is one of our... The furnace is ready. Skills. Right, we'll do the grip. Speech, not vocabulary. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. Boy, one slip and you'd have third degree burns on your hands. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. 
And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Uh oh. Got a second admirer. He's admirer back. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, say it's fun. Have a safe journey to Sapo. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, we 
could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Uh, we're gonna run out of time right in the freaking middle of this cutscene. Oh, well, darn the luck. I'm just gonna let the grip, I'm just gonna let it roll until the time runs out. But, uh, I do want to thank everybody for sticking with me and um, because of the way this thing does saves to me, I may Listen play to take the sword go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk go to the castle hurry what about you I may play some that's not recorded your mother is in the village I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind I'll go with you no you do what I'm a say separate right Give the sword to Sir Ratsy. If anything Save. Happens, take care of you. Yeah, so, I may know what's going on ahead of the time, just in case we ever run into problems like this, and then I can give some exposition in the next video to talk about them. Terrible, terrible change of events. Run by the moats! To the path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Yeah. 